Hey, how's it going? So I wanted to make a video going over the announcement of Season 3 and the changes they're implementing. Just going to go over what my thoughts are on the changes, what it means for the average player, what it means for the competitive players, and what it means for the future of Dragon Ball Fighters. So let's have a quick look. <laughs> シーズン3のテーマなんですが、え、今回のテーマはフレッシュというテーマでえ、いろいろ考えております。今までの良いところを残しつつ、え、ユーザーの皆様が、え、申請の気持ちでえ、バトルに臨めるようにえ、使用追
it, it kind of has to be that way because if it's not that way, people will literally just pick beam assist and you'll just be three beams everywhere. So this is intentional design to give these moves super strong power. Krillin and Yamcha have beam, Trunks has beam. We don't know if Gohan has beam. I don't know whether him doing beam here is representing the fact that them saying, yeah, he has beam as well. But, you know, we can assume that Gohan's going to have DP as assist one, beam as assist two, or three even. Maybe he's got beam as assist three, and then his, his second one's like back fist or something. Which, again, though, think about it. If Gohan has back fist as his assist three, and it is an overhead, that's a unique and cool assist. Think about it. That's what we need. Unique and cool assist. This guy's got an assist overhead that tracks. That's wild. Don't know if they'll do it, but uh, it's possible. They could just do his hand punch thing, you know, his S or whatever. That'd be sad, but who knows. More characters, good. More choice, good. A sister who is good or stronger than beams, good. So something else to note as well, with these assists that track, so it looks like Cell's perfect attack tr tracks. So I do wonder if that's his third assist, but uh, with these assists anyway, there's a big sort of global illumin like illumination, globe of illumination around the character saying, oh, it's coming. And this, this must have been when they first put these assists in and they were play testing them. They realized that, hang on a minute, uh, it's really hard to tell when these assists are coming in. So that, that must have been a necessary design thing, which shows they put some time into this to say, yeah, that we need some visual uh, stimulation so you can tell uh, that, that there's coming. Otherwise, it, it's just too easy to catch you by surprise. So obviously, they put some thought into this. It says as well that this is just one example of how they're changing up the battle system. Which is interesting. Uh, I don't know what else is coming in regards to that. We've got this bar at the top that we, we really don't know. It could just be like where you are on the stage. Which to me seems relevant. Uh, I don't think it's needed. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, it makes sense. It's always nice to have little UI things to say that. I think it is that. Just telling you where you are on the stage. But it could be something else. It could be like a momentum meter or something. Um... Piccolo, Piccolo gets locked down. There's the big thing there. Broly, like, I don't know how they're countering forces, but it looks like, from what we just seen there, because he doesn't even hit Broly, it's not that Broly blocks his time, he doesn't even hit him. Rising normals might not have a... But it doesn't make any sense, because how are you going to air to air people and stuff? I don't know how they're doing it. Maybe there's like, it's you know, they're not active until like frame... 10 or something. I mean, I just thought they'd make rising jump normals mid and then only have them overhead after a certain time to prevent that. But uh, I don't know. I'm not too sure how I feel about that. You know, I mean, Broly's big, but uh, to counter that, you know, he's got armor everywhere. So just making it so that you, it's harder to hit him and things like that. I, I don't know. Oh yeah, Goku Blue Assist is his shoulder charge. Don't know if that's... I think that'd be his B Assist. I'd be cool if his third assist was like instant transmission and then he did a dive kick if it hit. Or something like that. I don't know. This one I really just don't get. Key Blast is key invulnerable. Uh, key Charge is key, key Blast invulnerable. I, I'll never use it for that. It, it doesn't... Do you know what I mean? It doesn't... You still stood there like a sitting duck. I mean, I get that it's Dragon Ball, but I'm hoping there's more to it than just that. Like, it'd be cool if you got, like, a defensive buff if you charged it for a certain amount of time, or a power buff if you charged it for a certain amount of time. That'd be stuff where you're actually like, oh, I'm going to squeeze this in now. Who knows? Like, I don't know. Very niche for now. Snap's been nerfed, so it's no longer a one-player game once Snap's in. In the corner, I assume you're still going to get meaty after Snap. Uh, it, would it, it would make no sense if, if uh, you couldn't just you know snap in the corner. But now if you snap mid-screen, uh, basically neutral's pretty much reset. So it's, it's a way of removing blue health, 
uh, singling out characters on the team that you want uh, dead, but it's no longer a way of just looping pressure with uh, with limiting defense options from your opponent, which is always a good thing. Uh, obviously, with corner control, it's a little bit different. Uh, so, shout to assist. Going to be strong. I don't know whether that's going to make TN top tier, but uh, this is going to have a lot of blocks done. It's going to track. Yeah, this is a good assist. This is the stuff I'm talking about. You know, I don't want everyone just to have the auto combo drop down. I want some. I want some crazy shit out here. Give me some craziness. Actually, right. We're talking about this meter at the top. Look where they are on that map. Can I go back there? Five fifty-four. Uh, where where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Let's go back. Look where they are. He snapped there. Yeah, he's definitely over on the right hand side. And this meat is not showing where they are on the screen. So you can already immediately discount the fact that this is tracking where they are on the screen. This is like a momentum gauge. I don't know what it means. They've not they've not done any announcements. But uh, this that's exciting. So there's more than just extra assists coming into this. There's, there's something to do with this as well. And it might have something to do with uh, Sparking Blast or something. But it's interesting. It's really true. Because if you look at the health pools right now, this is an even match. Both got Sparking, so that's quite even. It is interesting, isn't it? And, and, and as you have a look, like slightly in Red's favour here. But yeah, the, the health pools do show that this is slightly in their favour. That's really weird. That's uh, interesting to know. Maybe like the further this is over to the right or left, when you pop sparking, determines the strength of the spark. So if you're like super just getting blown over, your spark is going to be monstrous. But if it's kind of an even fight and you pop spark, it's just going to be a regular spark. It's really interesting to think about. And obviously we've got some time. Death ball for Freezer. I think it's called that. I'm not too sure actually what it's called, but it's 2-3-6-S. Um, I don't know. I, that doesn't get me super excited, to be honest. It's not bad, but uh, it's not got a crazy amount of blocks done up close. It's going to be slow. Um, he's going to be out there for a while. Yeah, I I don't think it's a bad assist, but uh, it's definitely not something that gets me pog. It's just, it's just like, all right, okay. <laughs> And this is what we're talking about here about the, the meter in the top middle. This is something that a lot of people glossed over. I've not heard a single person mention this, but she's uh, essentially referring to the fact that she says she doesn't want to have one sided games through specific powerful attacks in combinations, so they're removing that. Um, I don't know whether this means like certain spark like touch of deaths and stuff i don't know like if they're removing touch of deaths that's strange to me because i think they're part of the skill of the game but if they are well, well we'll see how it pans out in the general gameplay but i think what this is referring to is stuff like level three into more stuff like gt goku she's essentially saying don't worry guys we're nuking gt goku off the face of the earth i think that's what she's saying here because she makes this statement and says as well as adjustments that gives users a chance to turn the table so not only is she taking away stuff like gt goku spirit bomb and other things that they deem too strong they're also making it so that your sparking blast as i think here is more powerful or something like that depending on how badly you're getting beaten uh this is this is only speculation as well i cannot i cannot comment more on that so this is something else as well i don't know what it is but right here around gohan's portrait there's like a sort of it's almost like a, a fox tail sort of thing wrapped around him i don't know what that means i don't think that's in the current ui at the moment i've never seen it before uh it's also around here as well where it's all lit up I don't know what that is. I'm excited to find out what it is, but it could be something to do with the general power level of uh, sparking now, maybe. Maybe there's like another meter or something. But in general, uh, this level 5 doesn't do more damage than it does now. Uh, or if it does do more damage, it's not much. So don't people need, don't need to think, oh my god, my team's just going to get the lead as soon as they pop spark. It's just not the case. It doesn't work like that. Uh, 
So she goes on just to say that there's going to be more patches uh, throughout the third season. Probably just one patch on top of this this patch that's coming out at the end of the month. It has been out to the 26th of February for the people with the Fighters Pass, I believe. So um, expect it at the end of this month. But uh, in general, she just wants to do the patch then. Maybe, maybe like a mid, mid-season adjustment and then hopefully that'll be good. But they're happy, depending on how's it going, to step in to make further changes. So we don't have 20 GT Gokus in the top 24 of a tournament because nobody wants to see that. It's uh, not good for the spectator experience. It's not good for everything else. Uh, I'll, I'll pause it there because there really I don't believe there's anything that, that's uh, too uh, game breaking announcement wise. So just to summarize, this announcement in particular for me, 10 pogs out of 10, 100%. Uh, I couldn't believe it. It shows that they love the game. It shows that they love the community. They want to just just keep pushing what they can do with it and I'm super excited for the future of the game. Lots of people just go, oh, they're just going to pick three beam assists as you can see from the assists that they've shown they're introducing assists that will be at least as strong as beam if not more powerful you you can literally select ex boo ball as your assist what if with gt goku you can select his ex orb you know beam assist in the current meta is undisputably number one in season three we're going to have to do some juggling. It still might be powerful. But in Season 3, with these tracking assists and things like that, it's going to rewrite what this tier list looks like. We're no longer going to see these assists as like, oh my god, this is insane. We're going to see it as, okay, Bemis is good. I might want one on my team, but I want the other ones. This is really good. It does. It's okay if, if you know... There are teams where it's two beam assists. That's okay. As long as there are other teams with two of the new, you know, dragon combo type assists, whatever they want to call them, you know? As long as there's a variety of assists and people feel like they have many options, even if it's not true, like maybe beam assists are the best. As long as there's the illusion that people think that it's better, um, it's always a good thing because we're going to see more people trying different things in competitive play. And that's going to be great for the competitors and it's going to be great for the spectator experience as well. Thank you for watching the video guys, hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.